be the king of the cougar show. So we're going to get right into it tonight, guys, like we always do. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like the video, like it. Put us a couple comments down below. Let us know what you think. Share the video. Hit the bell. Make sure you select all because you don't want to miss anything we got to say. So tonight we've got to talk about Britney Spears and um, her fiancé, Sam. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just seems like a wild situation. Uh, apparently they've been together since somewhere around 2016. They do seem happy, at least should I say, you know, she seems happy as, as, as much as possible. I mean, to me, he seems like he's there. Uh, he seems like he's happy because the situation that he has presented in front of him, you know, but there has been some coming up about he's trying about the prenup is slowing down the wedding. So it appears, Cubs, if he took a, a couple notes out of the Kevin Federline book. <laughs> <laughs> the backup dancer. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, you know, the backup dancer that became a millionaire uh, and, and a, I guess you could call it successful life off of, you know, Britney Spears, which, I mean, let's face it, she's such a high caliber uh, pop icon that just a relationship with her and now you're automatically somebody, I mean, even a picture with her or, or anything, yeah, and, and it's there. So they've been together for quite a while. Um, they do seem to be happy. She is pregnant. She did just get out of her conservatorship with her father and her team and the whole entire organization that was around her. But it does seem like, to me, you know, this was arranged, you know. Uh, I do feel like she likes him, but I do feel like somebody presented the opportunity to her about this guy. Because, I mean, come on, what's the purpose of a prenup? I mean, this guy is just a regular guy. I mean, what does he really have to protect? Okay, so, my dog, so, so far, what I'm getting is that um, this Sam guy could possibly be a user? I mean, that's what I think. You know, that's yeah. my opinion. Is that, is that yeah. where you're going with this? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, to me, anyone that's with a superstar and you just live a normal life, why would you need a prenup? What do you have to protect? Unless I'm missing something, unless his family's, you know, somebody, and I just don't, didn't catch it. But I understand a prenup for somebody that's successful in life. You know, you've, you've worked your whole life and only God knows what sacrifices she made to get where she's at. And I'd say it was quite a bit of big ones, uh, allegedly. You know, so it's understandable why she would want something, and I, I just don't see the purpose of him needing anything to protect him. I mean, what what, what is there? I mean, you know. So apparently, it's it's because of the prenup is what's slowing up the wedding that he's requesting a substantial amount of money. I just think is 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 unbelievable. I mean, this poor girl's been. Uh, let's put it this way, had a tough time uh, in relationships, a tough time in life. If I'm not mistaken, it was a 13-year conservatorship she just got out of. And I would say she pushed hard for that so she could marry this new new guy. I mean, we could just call him, you know, Fed too. <laughs> you know? Yes. Okay. So, um, you know, Cubs, what I would say is, um, well, first of all, um, Mad Dog, um, he want this, all this money um, every five years that they're together. Is that? Hey, to, 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 now, bear with me, I'm not a licensed counselor, but the drift that I got is, say, for example, whatever money he's requesting, and say, for example, he wants a million, right? So after five years, he gets a million, and after another set, he gets even more. So it's almost like the longer he stays married, the more money he gets after they get a divorce. So it's like he already knows they're going to get a divorce. I mean, come on, this guy's 13 years younger than her, so she's definitely 
in the Cougar category. She by is. The way. Brit, Brit, she is. That's right. Now, I will say this. I will say this, and then, you know, I'll give my, you know, regular commentary. But, Mad Dog, I'm going to say this too. Um, <clears throat> so, what, they've been together, what, five, six years, somewhere like Something that? Something like that, yeah. Okay, because I do remember or recall him being in um, one of her videos. Now, what I will say, Mad Dog, is um, I think that he is, I think that. He's asking, or I could be wrong, I don't know, but I'm thinking more like, we don't know what went on behind closed doors. I mean, you know, they could have took that man through the rain. Yeah, and just took know. it out there with her, you know, when he felt like he should be, you know, getting paid. And if that's the case, then, you know, because like I said, we don't know, you know, what went on behind closed doors. But what I will say to you, cops, is I think that Britney Spears needs to run. She needs to run. Agreed. Because this guy, he's not, he's not in it for love. He's not in it for love because, for number one, like you said, Matt Talk, I don't even understand why are you even at, like, what do you have for her to even take from you? You know, he, he has it. He has nothing. Not that I know. He has nothing, at least Kevin. <laughs> at least Kevin was the backup dancer. Right, better than nothing. You know, it's like, yeah. at least he was the backup dancer. And this guy, I mean, because if you, cops, if you go and, like, you look on Britney Spears' page or whatever, it's almost like, to me, the guy really don't even like her. You know, it yeah. just, it, it, it's something off there that all of us are missing. But, I will say, um, I hope there is someone there and around Britney and is letting Britney know, hey, you know, these are a couple of red flags. <laughs> these are a couple of red flags. Because, like, if they do get married and they get a divorce, what is it that he have that, you know, Britney would even want from him? Nothing other than now that she's pregnant, you know. And I'm going to say that part right there, because... Um, if you think about it, my buddy, he did everything. He did everything right if he was a user. Yeah. You know, he stuck with her, you know, until she got out of this mess with her and her family, you know, and then he knocked her up, you know. Yeah. So either way, and we all know that, um, I'm going to say allegedly because I don't really know if Brittany has custody of her kids, but I think Kevin Federline does. I think does. Kevin Federline has him also. And... I'm telling you something right now, Cubs. That Sam guy, he did his he he went and he did a whole background check with this Kevin Kevin Federline guy because I believe that's where he even thought about you know trying to get money you know from Britney after they split up yeah. you know because who even think about something like that you know. Yeah, I mean... It, and nobody knew who he was before he got with Britney. Right, well, it nobody. blows me away that they put something in there saying that the longer they're together, the more money he gets if they divorce. So it's almost like he's telling her and she just doesn't doesn't realize it. I mean, I think she's a clone anyway, to be honest with you. You know, I mean, it's almost like he's telling her, listen, I'll stay with you for five years if you give me this. What's up? Well, Matt, all that could be the reason why um, there is a hold up, <laughs> you know, yeah. because here we're thinking that, you know, Britney is not all there or whatever, but, you know, since there is a hold up, cause she might have enough sense to be like, you know, but Britney, honey, you need to run for the hills because this guy here is, you know, he's already thinking about money. Yeah. He's already thinking about money. What he can, you know, he want, he wants to be the next Kevin Federline. Yeah. You know, because you already know that he's going to do the same thing that Kevin did. You know, he's going to try and get, get custody of the baby. Yeah. You know, and then you're going to be paying child support again. Like, it's just going to be a story that we, you know, that recycle itself. But, right. Well, That's I mean, all it's going to be. What a coincidence. You know? Shortly after, now I don't mean shortly, like a week or two, but you guys know, Coach. Relatively after her conservatorship ended, 
<coughs> excuse me, bear with us today. We're you know, under, we're the, under the weather. Yeah, we're sick. You know, so right right after that, next thing you know, she's pregnant, engaged, and now getting married all in mm -hmm. this short time span. Mm -hmm. And then now all of a sudden, you know, everyone's wondering what's the hold up on the wedding and of course it's money. And I'll be honest, I, I like Britney Spears. I love I'm a big fan. Spears. Yeah. You know, I think I think she's been through a lot in her life. I, I think she's been through a, a lot more than yeah. Most girls have in Hollywood. Uh, there's no point in getting into details. Because we all know. We've all read the stories. Yes. You know, so I feel she deserves at least the best possible chance she can have for love. She deserves. She and for someone to truly love her back, not truly love her back because of her bank account. And that's what this guy is doing, okay. you know. He's 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 in love with those dollar signs. Cause I mean, it's just the energy that he's putting out. Like you can look right through the screen of the TV and can tell this guy is not even. And oh, cause um, we did we did run across um, this girl named Morgan. This girl named yes, Morgan yes. that said that um, Sam was cheating on Britney um, with her. Allegedly. Allegedly, you know. But, um, and I believe it. I'm sorry. I believe it. Because he yeah. doesn't give me, he doesn't give me that he's in love with Britney. He just doesn't. You right. know? Well, majority of the pictures that I see the two of them in, you know, and once again, unless I'm overlooked, like I said, bear with us, we're not feeling the greatest today. But majority of the pictures that I see, it's her showing him attention and him looking at the camera. Cheesing. Right. Cheesing. Right. Soaking up every minute of his 15 minutes of fame that he can get now that he's stretched out since. And I'm, don't quote me to it, but I'm pretty sure they said it was 2016 they've been together. You know, so now it's 2022. So he's put in the time. But I mean, come on, he, he doesn't have to make it seem like, you know, he was living out the back trunk of a car here. I mean, come on, you're with one of the biggest, you know, hot chicks yeah. all the time here. So it's not like, you know, you were eating Raymond noodles every night here, you know? What I'm going to say, Mad Dog, is I do believe, I, I do believe that um, he had a plan. And his plan is working. You know, his plan is working. All he needed was to get Britney's family out of the way. And now that he has them out of the way, yeah, you know, now it's, it's, the middle, it's the middle. yes, he does. Now I'm gonna say this, cause you know, too, I, I I don't know what Britney Spears doing, you know, on Instagram, you know, with these yeah. pictures. <laughs> like I, yeah. I don't even understand why she, you know, doing all of this, you know, because she, she look she. Well, for me, she doesn't look healthy. No, no, I mean, when his parents don't look healthy. For me, it's the look in her face. She always looks like last night's makeup. Yeah, well, <laughs> and I, I, I just can't help but think whoever is the one taking the picture, she just despises. Because I mean, the looks in her face when she's doing these random pictures, photo bomb or drop, whatever you want to call it. She just almost looks like she just woke up out of a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it, man, that's the vibe that I get. Now, like I said, I could be reading the situation wrong. I don't, you know, but the look in her face to me is almost like she just woke up out of a nightmare and she realized that, well, it's not a nightmare. This is her life. Yeah, but I don't think Matt told nobody telling her to get on, you know, Instagram with these, you know, these, um, New pics that she doing. Like yeah, I don't think nobody much. pushing her up to do that. I really don't. You know, and I'm gonna also say too, um I I know we all heard about her and her father and all this and all that, but I'm almost about to say that and all that, you know, her father might need to come back and get her because I mean, like I said, the stuff yeah. that she, you know, the pics and stuff that she putting out on, you know, Instagram, it's just like, yeah, <laughs> Rick need to go on, you know, going on back to her daddy because yeah. I don't even understand, you know, why she's doing that, you know. I agree. Well, it's almost like she's had somebody leading her path in life mm -hmm. the entire time, 
And now, once you open the doors to the horse stable, and I, I'm not comparing her to a horse, it's just an example, coach. Okay. Once you open the door to the horse stable, and now they can roam free, they don't know whether they want to run, they don't know if they want to jump, it, you know, they don't know if they want to drink. Well, they don't know what to do, where to go, where to start. So I believe, my opinion, this guy's got her so wrapped up that she just fell totally level, head over heels, and, and all he's trying to do is keep his hand down. Now, once again, this guy's young. He's 13 years younger than her, so all the time he's spent with her, once he gets married, he can put in his five years and move on to the next, and he'll still be a young enough man to do whatever he wants to do in life. And poor Britney Spears will, you know, have another shaved head incident, or who knows what's next. I, I think, Matt Dog, I think that, um, I think you're going to stay with her for, you know, after they get married, I think you're going to stay with her for probably about 10 years, you know, because you got to get his back. I think he's going to stay the minimum amount that says on that prenup is you what I so? can guarantee. You think so? Yeah. yeah, I yeah. Think, and the only reason why I'm yeah. saying this, Cubs, is because... You know, if they do decide to, you know, get a divorce or anything like that, you know, we know him. We know he used to date, you know, Brittany. And those women in L.A., you know, Sam got lucky with Brittany. But those women in L.A., you know, uh-uh, honey, you need a job like me. So he got us, what I'm saying, he got to try to keep his bag, you know, because yeah. you're not going to come over here at least, at least for the Cougars. Right. Because you need some money. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... You need some money if you want to mess with the Cougars. Right. You know? I, I would be willing to bet with this guy. I mean, he strikes me as a kind that if he's able to finesse her to get her to do a prenup stating that he gets a substantial amount of money if they're married for five years, you better believe in that five years you're going to see a brand with his name on it, not Britney's. You're going to see some kind of business. You're going to see some kind of investments. You're going to see some kind of passive income this man created. And then in the five years or whatever it is they decide to do on the prenup, yeah. boom, he's cashing out. Yeah. On to the next. Yeah. I mean, I'm a huge Britney Spears fan, but I will say, guys, she does look lost. Yeah, well, she uh, she doesn't, uh, honestly, Matt, Matt Dog, she, she doesn't look healthy to me. At all. She does not look healthy to me, and I'm just trying to figure out, too, who is her makeup artist, because I swear to God, it almost looked like Britney Spears, like she'll have on, you know, yesterday's makeup, she'll rub her eye, and it smears, or whatever, because each and every time that we've seen Britney, like, you know, like I said, she looked like she just woke up out of her sleep, and, you know, and got on there and just start dancing or whatever, right. you know, that she does. And to be honest with you, um, I think I, I think that she might be out of the cage that she was in, but I still think, Mad Dog, that she still, someone still got some type of, you know, it hold on so her. Yeah. yeah. Someone still got some type of hold on her because, I mean, we don't really never really see. First of all, Cubs, could you comment below again to let me know what does he do for a living? Because I don't even know what this guy does for a living. Me neither. I have no idea what he does for a living. Me neither. You know. I mean, and he's a handsome oh, guy. Oh my guys, he's counting Britney's money. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Britney. I think. Um, you you need to find someone that's really truly in love with you. And this guy, mm -mm, he don't give me that. He does not give me that. And it's just it's some red flags there. Right. It's just some red flags there. You know, he just God, he cheats harder in the camera than she do. Yeah. You know, it's like he wants yeah. to be you know in a spotlight. And you know, I was telling Mad Dog. Um, when we when we were watching him going inside um, the um, store, I guess he was going to buy her an engagement ring on. I think that was Rodell Drive. Um, I was telling Mad Dog. I said, "So let me ask you something, Mad Dog." He goes, "What's up?" I said, "So he's buying her engagement ring. Did he use her money?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, because credit card. Uh, yeah, because. I, <laughs> I don't even know what he, you 
know what he does. I don't know. Like I said, yeah. he was in her video. Yeah. And but no one really knows what this guy does. Yeah. Brittany, honey, listen. Ron. Well, let's put it like this: if she's even willing to consider a prenup, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised if he gets some kind of allowance. Oh yeah, and that's that's what I. Think. Oh, oh, so that's how he bought the ring. I think so. With his allowance. I think he and gets an still, allowance. Yeah. And it was still her money. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it was but still the car he it on had his name on, and he gets the direct deposit. Really? You know? <laughs> like you, you know. know? Like, I'll give you $1,000 for every picture we take. Every time I can kiss you, you get 500 or whatever. Or just some kind of simple allowance. Uh, there. Uh, uh, long story short, he's making a financial gain off this poor girl's heart and emotions. And she's so damaged and so broken and so manipulated. And just, oh God, I feel so bad for the girl. And he just swooped right in and he's taking advantage of everything. And I. I'm praying for her. I, I really want to see the so girl happy. She deserves it terribly bad. Yes. But unfortunately, my opinion, and I just don't feel that this guy has the right intentions, because why would he even bring up a prenup to begin with? Love has nothing to do with money. Inside. Now, on one hand, I can understand why a celebrity would need a prenup. My opinion, that is understandable. you got someone that's worth $50 million. This is a regular joke. It's understandable in my opinion, but I don't make sense of a regular Joe wanting a prenup from someone with 50 million. And I don't know if she's worth 50 million. I think though. it's just more like example. 60 million. Well, just an example. Yeah, anyway, it's more like 60 million. But that's what I'm trying to say, you know. It's, it's you know, and not to mention, he, he just, I, I, I don't know, I just, I get a bad vibe, Cubs. I really do. You know what? You know what? No, it's all. He seemed like the type of guy, like, um, he'll go in the morning, you know, go to the coffee shop, Starbucks or whatever, and get coffee. He he seemed like the type of guy that'll call TMZ, you know, on himself. Yeah. Just so they can be up in his space yeah. and, you know, they can ask him questions. That's the type of guy that he seemed like. He wants all the attention, because when right. I tell you... When I tell you when they're doing like the workout videos or whatever, I mean, he's smiling so hard and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's you concerned know? about affection. He's concerned about, about the money. photo. About and the money. Yep. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's every, I mean, I mean it, you know, the pictures that I've seen, it's, I mean, she truly seems happy, happy you know, but it's almost like she just wants to be happy and all he's concerned about is his media coverage and also known as money yeah but believe it or not my dog i think that not just you and i can see that i think you know other people can too i think other people can too and he may, you know, if, and I'm, you know, not planning on one, some, someone else's fault or whatever, but if they do get a divorce, he might be watching Ellie because, like, we're talking about it now, but, you know, you can clearly see that this guy is not, this guy is not interested in her. He's interested in her money. Run, Rick, run, baby, because we done seen way too many red flags. All right, listen, guys, it was a real fun show tonight. We'll catch up with you next time. Peace. Bye.